So House Oversight is investigating Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, the Biden family crime syndicate, as their detractors would say. What, what, did they take money for influence peddling and so on or not? Um, they found out about a document that was in the possession uh, of someone who was in connection, who, who had spoken to, I mean, the FBI had it, but it was from a whistleblower. And this is a trusted source that the FBI has paid some $200,000 to over the past few years to get information. They, they rely on this guy. Whoever it is, they trust him. Well, this guy came forward and said, I've got bad news for you. Joe Biden and Hunter Biden have been up to no good. And we knew they had this document and FBI was dragging its feet and producing it to Comer and the House Oversight Committee. Comer said, we're going to hold you in contempt unless you give it to us. Finally, the FBI said, well, you can come here and look at it. Comer said, no, you will bring it to us. You will give us unfettered access to it. He said, oh, I'll bring it over and you can look at it under my parameters. Comer said, no, <laughs> you will bring it over here and we will look at it as much as we want. You answer to us. And finally, Christopher Ray of the FBI said, all right, here you go. So they had their look at it this week. And the reports from those congressmen and women who have seen it are absolutely alarming that this trusted source went to the FBI and said, Joe Biden took $5 million. Hunter Biden took $5 million from Ukraine back when Joe Biden was vice president. Why did they do it? Because Hunter had this appointment to the Burisma board, this energy company, even though Hunter knew nothing about energy, and that Burisma was getting investigated by this anti-corruption prosecutor in Ukraine. Burisma didn't like that. Burisma wanted that prosecutor to go away. Hunter Biden allegedly said, it might help you making this case if you would buy a U.S. energy company. Um, and so they allegedly did that via some company in Canada that had stock in an American company. Anyway, the, the, the evidence is allegedly that they were listening to Hunter. And then they allegedly paid Hunter and Joe 10 million total. And that Lo and behold, Joe Biden fired that prosecutor. He made it such that the Ukrainians had to fire that prosecutor. And we know Joe Biden did make that happen. He's admitted that he made that happen. He denies that it was because of an influence peddling scheme. So now this is the first we've gotten where there was allegedly a payment to him and Hunter in exchange for that action. And the allegation by Comer, as outlined last night on Hannity, was that, um, reading now, hold on, they bragged they bragged that the way Biden wanted the money distributed was that it would be through so many banks that it would take investigators 10 years to track the money. And that it was, um, but, but that the House Oversight is looking into all of it, getting subpoenas for these banks and trying to uncover this. They say they were already covered, uncovered the 10 million. And Comer said last night, I would say the number could top out at 20 million. Final point here, Victor, and then I'll give you the floor. Representative Nancy, Pay Nancy Mace, well, again, is one of those more moderate Republicans. She's not like a fire-breathing, you know, Comer, Marjorie Taylor Greene type. She comes out and tells Fox News Digital after she reviewed that document, um, there is damning evidence that the sitting president of the United States sold out his country in an ongoing bribery scheme. The American people and media deserve to see the evidence. We should follow the facts. Here's the last piece of it. Joe Biden was asked about her saying that at the White House, outside of the White House, yesterday, and here is how he answered. The bribery allegation, Congresswoman Nancy May says there's damning evidence in the FBI file that you sold out the country. Do you have a response to congressional Republicans? Where's the money? I'm joking. Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, And then he went on to say, I'm honest, hey. I'm honest. Yeah. You know, that's a very bad answer because it's not just discounting the seriousness of it. But when he says, where's the money? It channels right into the the report that they had it hidden by all these paywalls and you couldn't find the money. And Joe Biden is expressing confidence that you're never going to find it. I dare you to so find true. it after we set Good up point. all of these fake companies. But there's two or three things that I don't think anybody quite understands about this. The first is what Christopher Ray, you know, he's stonewalling. And I guess he thinks he initially thought that he was Eric Holder and Fast and Furious, where the minister, the left just says, you know what, I'm not going to obey a, a, a Republican subpoena. But they blew that up, as they do with all the institutions, when they went after Steve Bannon and convicted him and sentenced him yes. to uh, refusing a, a congressional subpoena. So he should have known that now there's a new precedent. You don't do that, you, even if you're the FBI director. The second thing I don't understand is that. These two, this two-page document wasn't classified. 
So why was he so paranoid about protecting it and didn't want any of it out and kept denying that even it existed for a while or that he lost it or he couldn't find it when people had, I think Grassley had knew that it was there. So the the, the sheer eagerness or paranoia or obsession, fixation with not producing this suggests that he was very worried about anybody getting access to this. And then the third is when they talk about these millions, 5 million to Hunter, 5 million to Joe, and perhaps more, and they say, Joe says, show me the money, but this is not hard to find. Joe Biden was vice president in 2009. He exited office in January of 2017. Then he had four years as a private citizen. He's got about 10 years. He he filed tax returns. And all they have to do is look what he reported and then make get an IRS investigator and said, this is how he lived, or these are the homes he bought, or this is the expenses that we can document, and they don't match up. And so that, that's very stupid when people screw with the IRS and they say, show me the money, or you know, when they don't report large amounts of income and they think the IRS cannot calibrate their expenditures. And so I, I, I think that it's a very easy thing to find out if they get the power to trace down all of Joe Biden's bank accounts, all of his deposits, and then the type of huge expenditures for houses or other things that he that he purchased and or he gave mm-hmm. the money to Hunter. And they and we know that's true because Hunter is facing from all the leaks serious IRS exposure, and it's based on the fact that they feel that he hasn't reported income commiserate of the type with the type of money that he was spending and and so i i think it's demonstrable and that may explain why ray was so so scared to to release that because he thought it might be explosive enough to bring down a president look you did the tough thing during covid you paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic and now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to twenty six thousand dollars per employee at covidtaxrelief.org Government funds are available to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. It's not a loan, and you don't have to pay it back. The program's complicated, but no one knows more about it than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do all the work and share a percentage of the cash they get you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, even those who took PPP loans and even if you had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Now let covidtaxrelief.org help get you up to $26,000 per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.